do you get to the kingdom of heaven? Right? This is the answer. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life. So listen up. How will you enter into life? Right? How do you save yourself? How do you get away from sure fire destruction? Right. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. That means you, if you don't have a girlfriend, you need to marry her and make her a wife. You need to change your apparel. Stop wearing pants as a woman. Wear dresses, right? Do the things according to the Most High God, or else you'll suffer the curses. It that we read in Deuteronomy chapter 28, and let's start at verse 60. Hallelujah. So, so my brother, he, he know who he is, real. He's, uh, he's, he's interested in a sister at work. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got you, my Come over here, my nah, brother. Nah, nah, nah. Come on, ask your question. Come on, ask your question. It ain't, it ain't like that, bro. Like, it ain't like that. I'm trying to help you, bro. Like I don't want you to fall. Read Deuteronomy 28 verse 60. Yeah, but we all, we all. Actually, let me get this. Let me get, give me Jude 1. Read. This is the book of Jude, verse 19. Bring it out. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. My brother. We trying to deal with you over here. We trying to build. Why are you separate? Talk we see you with the fringes, man. We need you. You are a brother. We got to build. And the only way to build and for nationality and nation is that we got to come together. The Lord commands us in Zephaniah what? Two and one? Two and one. Gather ourselves together. Oh, nation. Not just you. Nation. Unders undesired. You understand that? We trying to build. It ain't nothing to humiliate you. Because we all had to start from this setting. Right. Whether it be in this setting or it be in the classroom where you ask these questions. Right. This is for your edification and everybody else's. Right. You, come on. Go ahead, go ahead. This right here. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 20, verse 22. Bring it out. There is that destroy of his own soul. So this is destroying your soul because you got a question you need it. You need it to repent. You need it to come in here. But your flesh is keeping you away from us. Read on. There is that destroy his own soul through bashfulness. Through bashfulness. That's shy. You need this to carry on. The prophets are here. You can ask anything you need right. to get the medicine, to get to the school, right? Get it for me. Get it for me. All praise to the most high. We came for our brothers and sisters because we out in our community. We all sit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all sit, right? We all need the medicine. We all got to get ourselves together. Right? That's why we got to gather ourselves together under a black messiah. Yes, That's right. why we have to do it. Because alone we'll be devoured. The Bible say, you hold that, give me 1 Peter 5 and 8. The devil walks around like a lion ready to consume you. If she's a, a that sister that we're, I heard a little bit of it. But I need to hear it from you. Come on, come close, come close, come close. The scriptures say, the scriptures say to examine a matter first. Right. Before rebuking. But we can't even examine yeah, if you over there. There's no matter. I was just coming up to see y'all brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just, just acknowledge the more brothers out here that's doing what I do. Like, I, I've been. I, so you I'm ain't come in to build. You come in to say to teach or do your own doctrine. Nah, I'm, you not, I'm not doing. It. I just came to see. Brother, but you man. just told me examine the whole matter. I can't even examine what's going on with you and my brother. You spoke to him. We trying to build. If you're not trying to build, my brother, we can't do nothing. We out here for the people. Drop that. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse. Uh, let's start. Let's start reading. Let's start going off. We trying to build. You understand? We trying to build something. Not individuality. We trying to build as a nation. We're right. out here for our people. The That's black, right. the Hispanics, the Native Americans. That's what we out here for. Right. If you have questions. Come forth. Any other any other foolishness? Come on, bro. Don't even don't even waste your time, bro. Read. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is what we out here for. Our brothers and sisters in sin. There's so much sin going on out here. We need to acknowledge the sin that's going on. And the sin is not keeping the commandments of the most high God. Our brothers. I see that you came up. You you know who this is? The Black Messiah. Oh, All praise to the Most High God. We got a brother that want to repent. We talking about the Black Messiah. We going through the commandments that identify us as the Israelites according to the Bible. All right. So don't mind my voice, cause the Bible say in Isaiah uh, 58 and 1. I know I got you holding a lot. Let's start right there. I have to uh, cry aloud and spare not. That's why we talking about sin. 
We want the Most High to come back and judge this place, but give the children of Israel mercy and give us time to repent from our sins. We want to get out of here. But to do that, we have to come out to the highways and byways and teach our people. Read the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Cry it out. Spare not. That means nothing getting looked over. Brother run over here, been selling drugs to people all day. Hey, bro, what you doing? You killing your people. All right. Smoking is a, is a uh, sin according to the Most High God. Right. Adultery, fornication, right. all those things are evil in the sight of the Lord. Right. We're here to build. We're not here to debate over doctrines. Give me Proverbs 4 2. Give me Proverbs 4 2. We come to teach the doctrine of the Most High God, right? But that had to happen. You understand why that had to happen? It had to happen because evil can't go forth. That, be, that BS can't go forth. It can't go for it. It has to be corrected. We had little babies out here early. Right. We had families out here early. They came to hear the word of the Most High God. That's what that's what happened here. Repentance and live time. It ain't about no show. It ain't about no YouTube. It ain't about I'm getting clout for. No, we out here because God is watching. Right. Right. And God will judge me as well as you if I don't come out here and do right in front of my people. Teach. Right? We. This is the real movement. This is marching, this is making a difference. This is the black men trying to take control of their community. Right. And we can't have weak men in this. You understand? We got to be strong like our Messiah. That's and go right. through great hardness and tribulation. Read on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 2. Bring it, Bring it out. For I give you good doctrine. Good doctrine. Good doctrine. The Bible, the commandments, the statutes, the things of the Bible are good doctrine. And they don't hurt you. Right? Like for example, you like eating shrimp? You like eating board? What are some of the things that I got you? I got you. We build it. We build it. But understand, I read Isaiah uh, 58 and 1 because everybody out here has to be edified. From the kids over there to the men and women over there to everybody back there to the people driving back because they have the same questions. They have the same responses. And in their mind, they might not come here and, uh, and bring it out. But they will say, hey, what is wrong with eating pork? What is wrong with eating shrimp? I go to church every Sunday, and I'm told something completely different. I'm told, hey, guess what? It's okay to do these things, because God said, uh, what is it, First T uh, Timothy 4, 4, right? That he says, you can't eat all things now. But that's not the case. That's not the case. But we got to build from the ground up. And it starts with identity. I want you to know, my brother, I'm not out here to destroy you. I'm here to gain you. I'm here to gain you. I'm here to gain them. I'm here to gain everybody that we can. Come here, my brother. Come on. Hey, Shalom. Come on. We're talking about the commandments. That's family. Y'all family. Y'all might not see it now, now, but you will. You will. And we got to start by gathering ourselves by gathering ourselves together right. according to the commandments of the Most High God. Read. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. So the good doctrine comes in to the commandments. Let me ask you something. The Bible tells you you should not run up and down the street as a tailbearer. How is that beneficial to you? It's not? You should listen. Oh, tailbearing. Let me get let me get this right. Okay, I got you. I got you. Give me the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 11. Get it for me. So tailbearing, right? No, no, no. You listen, you, you it's I'm gonna make it real simple. Like little babies was out here. I'm gonna make it real simple, all right? Tailbearing is What's your name, my brother? AZ. AZ? So I'm Uriel. It's like if I went out this, what's your name, my brother? Herb. Herb? Am I saying that right? Herb. Herb. I got you. All right. So we got AZ, Herb, and Uriel, right? So uh, the Bible says you should not run up and down the streets a tail bear, right? So what if I heard, what if, when we're going to say everybody keeping the commandments for, right, for this example, right? So y'all both righteous men, right? Let's say I got a problem with Herb and I come up here and I say, yeah, man, I saw Herb do this. He was talking to this little girl, but that's Herb's daughter. That's Herb's daughter. But I tell you that. I tell him that. I tell him that. Herb come outside and he like, yo, how y'all hear? How y'all hear that I'm a pedophile? Where you get that? You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the, where you get that from? Uriel told me. Uriel, God gives you wisdom, give you this instruction not to do that. Because that's not only evil, but you're destroying your brother's reputation. Right. You're destroying his name amongst his community. Right. Now we got a problem. Now we got a problem because commandments are being broken. But God gives us instructions on how to fit, fix that. Give me Matthew 18, 15. This is how you fix that. This is how you squash that, according to God. 
So this is how you deal manfully, according to the Bible. This is how y'all deal manfully, one another, right? And for sisters, how you deal sister to sister, right? So read. The book of Matthew, chapter 18 and verse 15. Bring it up. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee. So remember the example that I gave. We got Irv, we got e AZ, and then we got Uriel. I wouldn't have told AZ about something that ain't true about you. Because I got an issue with you. You understand? So the Bible addressing this issue. How I deal with you as a man. How it should have went. Read. Go and tell him his fault. But, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you hear what it said? What it say? I speak to Err. Right. Err. I be like, yo, Err, man. You know we go back, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. I seen you with so and so. Err be like, man, that's my daughter, man. You know I don't get down like that. Right. Why I look like with a little girl, man? What you you understand? But I talked to you as my brother before I went to AZ, and we squashed that before it got to the point where now we go back to Leviticus 19 and 11, going up down the street as a tailbearer. I'm lying on you. You understand? God gave us instructions on how to fix that. And if we follow the commandments, that knowledge and understanding would save a lot of lives. Right. Because what could that have became, Er? A whole problem. It could have became a whole problem. Hey, see, what could that have been? Terrible. That could have been terrible. That could have been some now, when I see you, it's on site. When you see me, it's on site. Right. It's on site. Now two brothers dead. Now you got a whole family that ain't got their father. Whole family that ain't got their community. And it all started over uh, because I seen this and I ain't never come talk to Er about it. Now we own this whole spiel where people lives in jeopardy, people lives destroyed. All those things don't went and became in vain. It's not it's profitless. We don't destroy everything because I didn't come talk to him like a man. Right. How many times y'all older brothers? We maybe we were on the same age, but we all older brothers. We all older men, right? So on about our business. That was that. But now they see an example. Now it's a shootout. And y'all know how kids do. Kids see stuff like that, those evil examples in the neighborhood. Dang, it's cool that I saw Yuri and Irv out there shooting the thing, bruh. They bow, bow, drive about all that. You don't taught them an evil lesson. All right. Come on, Irv, speak, speak, I got you. They predict people like that as, oh, geez, oh, I go hard. And, man, it's not that. It's, it's not. foolishness. It's stupid. A gangster is a devil. You understand that? In other languages, that's me. that means devil. Right. right. You understand? So you just the old devil. That's what you're saying? You a demon. When somebody say it's on demon time, they don't know what that means. They think it's cool. But for us who got some sort of knowledge and wisdom, what happens from being on demon time? Man, you killed my son, man. Your son killed my son. Hey, if it ain't nothing personal, but I got to get that little in work. I got to get him. It's a cycle. It's a, it never ends. Right. That destruction and that hatred comes round and round again unless somebody stops it. And we got to start that with the commandments of the Most High God before we have these problems. Right. Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. This is blood against blood. Y'all understand we family, right? All y'all understand we family, right? For real, according to this Bible, by blood, by lineage, we're family. We just taught the thing otherwise. Some of us lighter than others. Some of us darker than others, right? But you know what often happens when we joke on the lighter skin, brothers? you be like, yo, you light skin, you soft. It makes a difference. That's what the, uh, our oppressors did to us. Right. They separated us by these little minor differences. Oh uh, yeah, man, dark skinned brothers go hard, light skinned brothers are soft. I seen light skinned brothers go harder than some big dark skinned brothers. I don't seen big brothers fold up and cry and, yo, you a little girl, this little dude just whoop on you like that? Right. You don't see all manner of examples that's contrary to that. Read Leviticus 19. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Bring it out! Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. And that's why I said we family. We family, y'all understand that? That was hatred, Er. I said that, I set my eyes against you. We ain't never talked. That mean I hate you. I hate everything about you and your family. And a liar will tell you something different. Make it plain. I ain't got no problem with Irv AZ. I ain't got no problem, but you know, nah, man, you just being effeminate. You emotional as hell. You scared of Irv. Nah, man, I ain't scared of no man. I ain't scared of no man. Yes, you are. Because you ain't coming to make it right with your brother. He lived like you in the same place as you. Y'all both trying to make it out. Right. How stupid is it y'all both trying to get the hell up out of here? It is a demon, and it's a spirit too. Hey man, check out that flyer, the contact information on the back. You chose him, my brother. This ain't happened by coincidence. Not at all. Lord willing, we see y'all again, family. Read on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. 
Thou shalt eat any wise. Rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So when I was talking to you earlier, AZ, remember when I was talking about the Bible and hatred and so on and so forth and why we had to use Isaiah 58 and 1 to correct the foolishness out here, man? Why we got to come out here and cry aloud and spare not? Because we got to correct that hate. Right. We got to correct that foolishness. Or else I hate you just like I told Herb, I hate him. You ever hear that if somebody really care about you, they're going to tell you the truth? Right. For real. They care about you, they're going to tell you. But we in sin. Yeah, it do hurt. But it's that medicine. It's that good hurt that you need to get better from here. To get out of here. How stupid, like I was trying to tell my man, how stupid it is we all came from the same hood. We all trying to get up out of here. But now we got crabs in the barrel going on where, AZ, I, AZ, I gotta get my own, bro. I gotta find a way, bro. Some foolishness happened, some sin go abound, and now say, your child dead, your daughter dead, your wife dead, you shot up your car, son. My stuff, you see me on the side of the street hunched, hunched over and somebody don't shot me up. You like, damn, man, he could have found a better way. I could have taught him something better. Right here. As an older brother, you could have taught him something better. It's another way. But that's why we gotta commit, come back to the command. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is you. And fire!